everyone! Today's video, we're going to be talking about my top favorite makeup tools. Um, so this is brushes and sponges and I thought really long and hard about this one and I went through all of my collection. I have a lot of makeup brushes, it's kind of embarrassing, but it's part of the job, right? And I picked out things that I thought like, bare minimum, this seems excessive, but like, if I were to create a brush collection for someone, this is what I would put in it. And I get a lot of questions like, well, what brush sets should I, should I buy? And honestly, I haven't found a brush set that I'm completely in love with that has everything that I need. So I personally prefer to do more of the individual brush route. Like I've bought a bunch of brush sets before and like I don't use like four of them. I'd rather spend my money on something that I know I'm gonna use individually rather than having all these extra brushes in my collection that don't ever get touched. So that's just my personal opinion on when you're looking for brushes and brush sets. For most items in that I'm gonna to suggest today, I if they're if it is an expensive brush, I try to make sure that I have an affordable option that I can suggest. If you like these kind of videos, if you like me, make sure you like this video and hit subscribe. I would love to be your friend and make sure to follow along on social media. All of those links are posted below. So let's just get this party started. And I'm linking everything below. So anything that you want to shop, or grab for yourself. A lot of this is online only stuff, so you're gonna have to use my links. First of all, I wanna talk about a makeup, the makeup sponges that I would recommend. The Beauty Blender, you just, there's nothing like it. I've tried all of the drugstore options, I've tried so many different things, and I feel like nothing compares to having a Beauty Blender. And if I were to suggest one of the dupes, the best dupe that I have found is this sponge right here. It's called the Aesthetica Beauty Sponge, and it's on Amazon, and it's $10. It's Amazon Prime. I do like the Real Technique sponge, and I do like the L'Oreal sponge, but I feel like they're nothing like the Beauty Blender. This one is just so squishy and soft, and the Aesthetica is the closest match that I found to it that it's half the price. So if you're on Amazon Prime, two-day shipping, y'all. Grab this one. With the Beauty Blender, what I do is I run it under the sink, squish it all the excess water out so it's damp, and then I use it for foundation or concealer, just dabbing it around the face or under the eye like that. Um, for foundation brushes, there are two that I want to recommend. One is more expensive than the other. This is the It Cosmetics, I don't know what the name of this brush is, it'll be right here on the screen. Um, this buffing brush is like a flat, dense brush and it's so great to just blend in your foundation. But honestly, if you're on a budget, I absolutely love this brush. It's called the ELF Ultimate Blending Brush. It does an incredible job of buffing in your foundation. So I just dot the foundation all over the face and then buff this in. These two foundation brushes are great. For concealer, I would use the Beauty Blender. I don't really use a concealer brush. That's just me, I prefer that. For powder, I have two that I wanna recommend. Uh, that I absolutely use all the time. The first is this It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe brush. It is just amazing. I love it how it comes to like a little taper. It's great to dust powder over, but the affordable option that I think is beautiful and amazing is this Real Techniques powder brush. It's huge and it does a great job of just doing a lightly light dusting of powder. So if I'm doing a light dusting of powder, these two are great options. For bronzer, um, I like these two brushes. They're both affordable. And the first one is from Morphe. It's the M106. It's a decent size where I can just like take the bronzer and I can just, you know, put it everywhere and swirl it around the face really simply and easy. It's super soft. I haven't had any issues with it. And then the really super affordable option that I just love and I keep repurchasing it is the e.l.f. Complexion Brush. So as you can see, the size of these brushes, they're similar in nature. Um, they're a little bit smaller than a powder brush. If I take a big brush, it's going to throw the bronzer everywhere. So I like a smaller brush just to get that, like, diffused bronzer look. This is not for contouring, just to kind of warm up the complexion. 
For contour, I really just only use run one brush and I want, I'm going to try and find a dupe for it. I think there's one on Amazon that I'm going to try and find, but this is the, a knockoff. So this isn't really the real brush, but this is a knockoff NARS Eda brush. This is a super popular cult favorite contour brush. So I decided I would find a dupe. I would find a cheaper version. So I found this on some Chinese site or it was eBay or something a few years ago and it was like three dollars. So I'm going to scour the internet and see if I can find something and I'll link it below. But I love it. I use it literally every day and I don't recommend, I, I there's nothing else that I would just recommend over it. It's really just like gets right in there exactly and more precise. So like if I were to contour, I would take this brush and I would use it just straight down right here and right here. And then I would take like this bronzer brush and I would diffuse it out if the line got a little too harsh. So I would take it and kind of swirl that around. For another brush um, that I use for different things is this e.l.f. blush brush. I love this brush. One couple things that I do with it is all like set powder under my eyes if I don't you know if I don't want to use like this is a really good option to set powder under your eyes or specific spots it's also good for blush or highlighter um, I think this does multitude of things that but I personally like it for setting powder under the eyes and small spots for blush I like these two brushes this one I've had for a long time and I just love it and it's lasted and it's held up so well so if you're going to splurge on a blush brush you want this one because it's going to last you a long time this is the sigma it's rubbed off it's the f40 sigma brush and um I, it's so incredibly soft it's just per perfect and precise if you're going to splurge on a makeup brush this is one that i think is just worth the money so much and I've had it for over five years and it's still in beautiful shape, but I make sure to take care of it and wash it. The affordable option is this from Morphe. It is the Morphe E4 and it is a little bit more dense and it's synthetic bristles, but it also does an amazing job. I think it packs on the blush a little bit more intensely, but once you figure out the pressure and how much you need, when you use it, I think you'll really enjoy it. For highlighter, I have two different options I love to recommend. And the first is another Morphe brush. It is the Morphe M510. A lot of people love this brush for highlighter. So it does just an amazing job of, you know, picking up the highlighter and then swirling it right there. And it just gives a very precise application. And this, it doesn't like throw it on your face too intensely so it's just very perfect another one at the drugstore or i've seen these at ulta this is an, another option is um, the real technique setting brush this has got a very precise application as well that doesn't like throw it too intensely on your face so i love it for that um, i also like to use it to set powder on the under the eyes if i ever need it but i actually like it a little bit more for highlighting so if you need that a brush or a highlighter these two are really great options my eye brushes are mostly Sigma and um, Morphe and I have one real techniques brush I use this brush every single time I do an eye look I have a couple of these on hand and I haven't been able to find something that I love just as much and this is the Sigma E40 brush. It is beautiful. It's just perfect to take that like neutral, like medium tone, warm brown and start the eye look with that transition shade. So I just buff like a light brown shade and all over the eye first. Well, like above the eye. I buff it into the crease and kind of above the crease and it like is a great start for my eyeshadow look. The next brush, um, that I absolutely love and recommend. This is another holy grail brush for me that I think that I could not live without and is completely worth the splurge and this is the Sigma E25. I have at least three of these and I love them so I can like rotate through them. Now um, this is good for any kind of detail or not detail but like 
any time you put a a color into the crease and want to buff that out and blend it this kind of like fluffy fluffier white natural hair brush is perfect for that specific thing that you're doing an affordable option to that is the Morphe M433 these brushes are very similar I feel like the Morphe I like the Sigma a little bit more it feels like a little bit more high higher quality of a brush to me but if you're on a budget the Morphe M433 is a budget option for that part when you're doing your crease work for your eyeshadow I use a lot of different eyeshadow brushes but I really want to try to like narrow it down for you guys for like any lid color I'll take more of a flat brush this is the Sigma E35 but really there are a lot of drugstore options where the brush is just flat where you take the shadow and then you press it onto the lid there's so many different options for that so if you see something that this that's this shape it's probably gonna be good to like press the the shadow onto the lid Okay. This is one that I have a brush that I absolutely love. You can do a lot with. It's called a pencil brush. There's different options from high end to more of the affordability ones, but my favorite one is the Sigma E30. And I use it under the lash line, so I'll buff out shadow under the lash line. Or if I really want to get a detailed, like smoky or like crease and like really place the eyeshadow right there in the outer corner, you can also like just detail work so I'll like place it with a pencil brush buff it in and then I'll take like the E25 and like buff it out that's what I love the pencil brush for I think it's such an amazing thing especially for the lower lash line to like buff in um, an eyeshadow this brush I don't think I haven't been able to find really anything else like it and it is the Morphe E36 it is an amazing inner corner highlight brush you're like that is so excessive but it is such a great addition to my collection. I feel like it like really rounds it out and it's so precise. This little, it's like a tinier version of the pencil brush. So like a regular pencil brush is this size. The E36 is a smaller version and why I like it is you could still use it under the eye to buff out, you know, shadow if you want. But I, particular, I particularly like it for inner corner highlight and then I also just do a very precise detailed um, brow bone highlight with it as well like I said I don't know of anything else like it and it's just such a great addition to my collection for gel eyeliner I have two brushes that I like one is this one from real techniques it's like their metals collection I can't remember the name of it it's the angled liner brush and then this is from coastal scents and it is a bent eyeliner brush for some reason I feel like I get a little bit more control when I do um, gel liner with more of a bent brush I feel with my eye shape I really like these two for eyeliner I think that about covers it I, I like I said I know it's a lot of brushes but start one thing at a time in terms of priority of what you need if you are not an eyeshadow girl and you only like want to use one eyeshadow brush I would recommend the E25 or the Morphe M433 just because I feel like you can do a lot with what this one brush so if you only want one eyeshadow brush, get this. If you don't really contour, get a bronzer brush. I hope you found this video super helpful. I really thought about it and really picked out stuff that I think that you would like. Um, but just let me know if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer those for you. And as always, make sure to subscribe and hit thumbs up on this video. It really, I really appreciate your support and I would really love for you to do that for me if you enjoyed it. I will just see you guys next time. Hope you're having a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.